So let's move then to a discussion of the project. And let me just say at the outset that this is a um, large scale project. It's a collaborative project, again, funded by MacArthur. National Institute of Justice and later on National Institute of Mental Health and many other um, foundations. And I'll end by telling you where we're at with it. Um, call it PhDCN for short. Um, many collaborators uh, with this in the early days and, and continuing. Um, Tony Earls, um, Steve Roudenbush, Jeannie Brooks Gunn, and others um, should be acknowledged. And it's had many spin offs, as you will see, which is an advantage, I think, to. Um, the funding of a project by an agency because there are unintended consequences. But we designed it in a very special way. The first was, if context is important, one must take seriously the measurement and study of that context. It's not just something that's another characteristic of the individual, it's a characteristic that needs its own scientific integrity as a unit of analysis. I'll say more about that. So we did a multi-method longitudinal study of neighborhoods. You'll see some of the results of this. We did resident surveys. This is all original data collection. Resident surveys, uh, observations. I'll tell you what we did there. Talked to leaders of organizations. We also used other data that existed, such as census data, crime records, and organizational records. Um, these studies were carried out um, roughly from 1995 to 2002, and then there's some extensions as well. The individual part, technically, it's accelerated longitudinal design, but that doesn't sound very nice. So let's just call it a suite of longitudinal cohort studies. Multiple cohort studies. Starting from birth, we enrolled women when they were pregnant or the kids were just born. Three-year-olds, six-year-olds, nine, 12, 15, 18. Followed them through time. Each cohort followed through time. Now, importantly, the cohort, remember, we're, we're starting with this idea of neighborhood is important. So we structured this uh, multi, and again, I don't want to get too much detail here, but it's relatively straightforward. It's a multi-stage sampling design whereby we first picked the neighborhoods, stratified those by the key characteristics, and you can see this hopefully, um, black, white, Latino, and then mixed neighborhoods, black, white, black, Latino, and then low income, median income, high income, and then we selected uh, randomly within the strata the, the samples. So you can see these um, neighborhoods are distributed all over Chicago and when weighted represent the city. So our kids are representative of those growing up in the city of Chicago in 1995 and their families. And the neighborhoods are represented. And we studied the neighborhood separately. Okay? So that's the design. This shows you the diversity. Uh, we wanted to get it and we got it. Um, it's a very diverse sample by race, ethnicity, um, particularly the three largest groups. And we also have, um, if you know, um, considerable diversity by um, immigration. Lots of um, first and second generation, well not a lot, but relatively enough power anyway to look at generational effects with regard to uh, migration. Now this was a massive study and I have to give thanks to the staff that carried it out. At one point we had about uh, 150 people that we hired, trained, and that worked in Chicago in the West Loop for these seven years and they did a, uh, a yeoman's job carrying out this study. People were followed wherever they moved in the United States and Mexico and some cases beyond. This just gives you an, an example. The, it's really dark around Chicago because about 80% of the sample stayed in the Chicago area. So they covered the entire city, moved out to the suburbs, but they moved down the Mississippi to New York, um, some to Boston. Um, I don't know if there's one up there in Minneapolis. Minnesota, I think there are some. <laughs> you may have some up there, who knows. Um, California, Texas, Florida. And we track them down and trace them. So it's a, it's a true longitudinal study. Uh, I just want to give you a feel for that. 